it's become an increasingly common sight at football games in Argentina. Police helicopters circling the stadium, trying to find those responsible for violence in the stands. Argentina's hooligans, known as Barras Bravas, are blamed for many of the injuries and deaths that have plagued football here in recent years. In the last 18 months, at least 14 people have been killed in football-related violence, a rapidly growing problem both inside and outside the stadium. Most deaths have been caused by fighting between rival fans. Innocent victims often get caught in the crossfire. But a new form of organized mafia-style violence has put the Barras Bravas back in the spotlight. Violence like that caused by the two men who've been fighting to control the Barra Brava of Argentina's most famous club, which has forced authorities to increase security in all Boca Juniors matches. One of the reasons Barra Bravas of the same club are fighting with one another is the amount of money involved in football these days. They're set to control the merchandise being sold around the stadium, the parking spaces in the area and even the ticket sales. They're also set to take a cut of the profits that their clubs make when selling players to other teams. That's what reportedly happened with Gonzalo Acro. He was a high-ranking Barra Brava member of the River Plate Club, who was reportedly killed during a dispute over profits from the sale of a player. His family's lawyer told Al Jazeera that she's been receiving threats from those who killed him. Since all of this started, we have received phone calls, messages. It is important to be clear. These are not football fans. They don't do the things they do because they want their club to win. They're fighting for their money. For many, it is their connections to politicians that make the Barras Bravas almost untouchable. Politicians need them because when they organize protests, they call them. When there is a fight between labor unions, it is them who are on the front line. They are thugs for hire, and that's why the problem is ongoing. Security forces have stopped many of the Barras Bravas leaders from entering the stadiums. They've also suspended matches to prevent more violence, but that doesn't seem to be enough. The power of the Barras Bravas goes beyond the football field. And that's one of the reasons why they will continue to haunt Argentine football for years to come. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.